today, Trish. Soft air cycling well, from. Talk, make sure you speak oh, into no, the. Like I know, but when you talk, talk into the microphone, otherwise it doesn't pick you up. <laughs> yeah, today we are cycling from the Aintree Jockey Club to Glossop via the 62 cycle route. Yes, we're on the Trans Pennine. <laughs> Should have given me a straight then, shouldn't you? <laughs> We're on the Trans Pennine Express. No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the Trans Pennine Trail and we're going from Aintree. You just said that, you can't say what I just said. But I'm going to put a map up. There's going to be a map up that people can see. And I'm going to be tra trailing the map as I'm showing them where I am. We're going from Aintree. We're going along the Liverpool loop line down towards Widnes and then Warrington across towards um, uh, Altrincham Way and then go scooting around the... Scooting? Scoot <laughs> well, you're putting me off. <laughs> going, then we're going around <laughs> the south the south end of, of Manchester into Derbyshire and to gloss up overnight where we'll be ready for a bottle of wine, I would imagine. So we're going the right way, are we? Yes. <laughs> We've done the coast to coast before, but it was all on road before. I think the Trans Pennine Trail seems to be a much safer and easier way of doing things. Scousers seem to be amongst the friendliest people in the country. We, we cycled all over and it's the northeast and round Liverpool where everybody says hello. Morning. 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 Just through Halewood Park and then we're at the end of the loop line. The what line? Loop. loop. Liverpool loop line. I've had this great idea of attaching my GoPro onto my handlebars but to do it I've extended the handlebars as you can see which is a really good idea until you come across these kind of things <laughs> Just passing the AstraZeneca factory, which I'd never heard of until a few months ago. Blimey, there's a big room around here. So I'm calling me thick. What was it you couldn't smell yesterday? Battery, no. battery or something. <laughs> it's one of those tricky words, isn't I it? I smell battery. <laughs> Is it in there? Or... Well, yeah, was it an A or was it an E? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm dyslexic. Yeah, I want you to cycle down there to go round and back on this road. Just cycling through hail and then we should get down onto the river fairly soon. Side witness this time. Yeah. Was it called Spike Island? Yeah, that's what I said, isn't it? Uh -huh.
first wrong turn of the day. We didn't bring any lunch with us because we're going to buy it en route. Problem is, I'm getting a bit tired and touchy now. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. You picked up the pace of it. <laughs> Need a sandwich, a bag of crisps. Yeah. A bit knackered here. All right. I'm not so keen on the fact that it's still 37 miles to go. Do it, won't we? Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> but we're still—it's it's raining, but we're, we're going to get off the other side of this. We still got 37 miles to go, which is a bit of an issue because we've probably only done about 22 miles this morning messing about with. Uh, changing batteries and getting drones out and so who's been the slow one this morning <laughs> it certainly won't be <laughs> do out this rain then i can see where i'm bloody going and put my glasses back on oh <laughs> so it's been raining we've had a couple of wrong turns this has a feeling of the beginnings of things going wrong a bit we'll see that was shit signposting wasn't it <laughs> yes it was <laughs> i think that had been turned around There's going to be some challenges this afternoon, isn't there? Apparently. I know some people will watch this and say 37 miles, well that's nothing on a bike. And while we're on the road at the moment, most of this is along bridle paths and along whole railway lines and canal tow paths and it just slows things down. I thought like it would fall in. Uh, this is what we've got to put up with next. <laughs> Getting up here. <sighs> We're not going back. Always fun trying to get these things with panniers on. Now we're finding ourselves missing signs yeah. on a regular basis. Yeah. Are you concerned about how far we've got left to go? Oh god. <laughs> We're 28, 28 miles to go and it's about 10 to 2, so it's not so bad. <laughs> close to head. What? It says Trans Pennine Trail close to head. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> gone. I've had enough now. <laughs> it's very good, the route, but we're having to stop about once every five minutes to get off to cross the road, and there's always bars that you need to get past before you can get back on the bike, so it slows things down quite a lot. This is an ideal place to fly the drone, but you're going to have to imagine it because we haven't got time to get it out. Mank accent in it. And There, centre of Manchester. Can you see the top of the, the Hilton buildings? Just over there. All right, yeah. yeah? We always end up through treatment works though, don't we? It's usually at least one treatment work on one of our cycles.
We're in the heart of Manchester now, although you won't really know it. How many wrong turns have we had today so far, would you say? Five. I think it's about five or six, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just heading off towards Didsbury now. Well, we've got the emergency chocolate. It's a long way, isn't it? I think Liverpool to Manchester would have been all right. We set off at 8 a.m. this morning. It's just turned 4 p.m. We've still got 16 miles to go. We're not even at Stockport yet. I just fell off my bike. It's half past five now. It still says we've got 11 miles to go. I don't see how that's the case, but I think I might have worked it out based upon the road rather than on the Trans Pennine. We've decided to cut our losses. We've given up on the Trans Pennine trail for tonight. We're just going on the roads and letting Google Maps direct us. Because once you're on the roads, it's a lot quicker. So it's going to take 50 minutes now on the road, whereas we were just taking forever on some of those paths. I think we'd have still been at it at eight, nine o'clock tonight. Half an hour. Just over five miles. We're, well, here's a Lowry statue. I've no idea where we are. Oh, Trace is carrying on. Well, we made it to our accommodation in Glossop last night. Absolutely shattered. We're catching the train back today and then coming back for the bikes. It's all a bit of a disaster in the end. It was it was way too far on the Trans Pennine Trail. Uh, if we'd have gone on the road, I mean, we can get back on the road in about five hours, if that, going along the East Lanks Road. Uh, but it's just stop start the whole way along, along the Trans Pennine. Um, I'd recommend the route, but uh, yeah, it, uh, don't bite off more than you can chew, but thanks.